Alright, today we'll be going over some World Box update links. And this video is going to be a bit less, a bit less elaborate, not, not as edited as my other ones. It's a bit more raw, if you could say that. Anyway, like, the first link we have is from this Discord server. It's from a Mac, the developer Maxim says Sneak Peek Poop. And it has a link directly uh, to this tweet. Where it says, What do you think these new biomes will be like? And if we just zoom in on this image, we can see this one, two, three, four new biomes. So uh, I'm just trying to look at what. If there's any hidden details, and I can't really see anything. The these house colors seem to be about normal. I'm not. This looks. This plant looks a bit like an onion, and this one looks a bit like a chili. But I'm not really sure what that's about. Honestly, it's a bit. You can't really tell. But yeah, so it seems like there's gonna be some new biomes, which is gonna be interesting. And the next link we have is where he says, Hey, oh, oh, and it's like a dashing elf. And an elf with a dash. Dash particle. And if we click on this link, it will, will take us to this. This tweet where he says another feature of the next major update is combat actions and overall balancing of all mobs old and new traits and weapons this will aid in making various species more distinctive is an elf with his dodge ability still a work in progress so this one's pretty it's very obvious what he's working on so if we play this all right so it appears that and the elf is dodging Now, those are already pretty overpowered, so if they're very able to dodge this much, they might become unkillable. But I don't, I don't think it's going to make them this this overpowered. And if we if we just if we just look at near the end, is there any like look at calculators? Is there any like hidden thing? I can't really see anything hidden on there. But anyway, so that's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. We go back to this one and we scroll down. He, he said improved arrow physics and if we were to click on um, this link it would take us to another video where, where Maxim Terapio said some say that these mad skeletons are still fighting each other and if we watch a video uh, oh I made oh he's making so the arrows actually bounce off each other that's kind of cool I'm, I'm just thinking that if there's like large armies, <laughs> all the arrows are going to bounce off each other. But yeah, Legends has it that, he, that those two skeletons are still fighting each other to this very day. Alright, and if we uh, go back to the Discord and we scroll down, he said, Everyone, Jigsaw Puzzle. Ooh, and he had another link to a tweet with this image where if we go examine it more he, he, he tweeted guess guess this new power and it's oh, some birds and uh, yeah seems just like a new power of a jigsaw puzzle which is multicolored you see that it's, now I, I think this is pretty obvious what it is it seems like it seems like it's going to be a thing to board kingdoms to make alliances. Now, I do have a mod that kind of does that, but this seems like it would be a lot more convenient, convenient to use. Because mod mods are always a bit finicky, you know what I mean? And also considering that the power above is to overthrow an alliance, I imagine this one would be to create an alliance, which is which is actually pretty cool. be nice for some World War One scenarios. Where you can have like all the central powers and the allies all uh, teamed up. So that's a that's a pretty cool power. We go back to the Discord. 
he says, "Out everyone, I made some things for houses, and it, and you can read just a normal village. However, if we go over to the link and we look at the image in this tweet, we expect it. You, at, at first glance, it might seem like a normal village, but then I notice something. That's an orc." Uh, it's a barracks. That, that's an orcish barracks, and and that's a orcish house, I think. But that's a human house as well. So that, so, it, so that, it, what it seems to me is that it is a village with orcs and humans living in it, which means we have like multiracial villages. Which is like, that's like really, there's like a, I think it's like a mod for that. But this is, this is big, this is like, whoa. This, this will mean like the races can like, like how will this work? Will like, will, will the villagers be able to rise up against? No, will all with like different races, different kings treat their subjects differently? Like if there's a human village under an orcish kingdom, will, like what will happen to them? So, there's so, so many questions. But this, this is like, this is a lot better because right now, if there's like a war between like humans and the elves, they'll just kill everyone basically. But this is a lot more interesting. This is definitely more interesting. Or if we look back at Discord, uh, this is the last one. It's at everyone, and he's like, like, bulb, 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 Lord. Light bulb, light bulb, light bulb, light bulb, light bulb. Um, if we, uh, with a click, if we were to click on this link, it would take us to this page where it says preview of the map for reworked cultures. It shows us spread in a more organic way based on the followers of that cult. And it said in brackets, work in progress. More about, more info about changes to the cultures later. And if we will watch this video. Oh, wow. So you can see like the cultures spreading them. Is this in real time? This, this doesn't... Oh yeah, if you look like down at the bottom, you can you can kind of you can see the speed change. So that means the cultures seem to spread, they must more organically and... Oh, hold on, if we, if we go back, he also has a infinity point for some. But... That's... Oh, so is that, so is the culture map... Oh, and he whoa, whoa, just killed that. So what it seems like is that the culture map isn't based off what village is which culture. It's based off where the people of the culture are right, like at the moment. So let's just call this culture in the top right, say the the northern peoples. So that means that someone a part of the northern peoples must be living down here, and someone and they're also living like down here here as well, which is why they must be highlighted, because if, if you look around see how the thing still, how it seems to be moving, yeah, so like the pe people around here are like just, are just kind of moving around, that's a, so that's a, that's a lot, that makes, it actually makes a lot more sense in the way it currently works, where it just kind of, it's really janky for some reason. And it's not actually based off the people at all. But yeah, so that that was all. That was the, that was the update links from the Discord server. I, I'll link to you the, the link to the Worldbox Discord in the description if I remember to. But yeah, this was a bit of a lower efforts video. I, I hope you still enjoyed it. And yeah, most of the work for this video is probably going to be in the thumbnail design. I probably uh. I'm just thinking up. I'll probably put like maybe the dodging elves in the thumbnail. Or, or maybe actually I think probably the alliance button is probably better actually. Probably more clickable. Alright. Thanks for watching. Uh, see ya.